do i do like uh i do like anthony jeselnik a lot i think he's yes. one of the i do think he's i th he's really good he's like a boxer he's like set up punch set up punch. like yeah. you know, i feel like his rhythm and stuff is very like like he doesn't really go too much into stories but i love his uh I, I love like his whole tonality, his arrogance, like uh, you know that his his demeanor on his specials, right. thoughts right, right, and right. prayers was hilarious. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, they they are really good. I think that special I saw that special. I think that special was shot in San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, people always say that uh, San Francisco, San Francisco people there are like very liberal. Like when you do stand up there, like when you talk about something really challenging, you don't know how they're gonna take it and but i after i seen the special it's like oh yeah just be be you and just write great jokes you're gonna go somewhere i think <laughs> i think that's what i believe i did i did uh i think last year i was in san francisco too i was the opening for eliza and uh, we did the a uh, a huge theater it's a sold out theater and uh I'm pretty dark on stage in stand up. I'm pretty dark. <laughs> it's an understatement. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's so like it's, it's it's the jokes You're are dark. You're selling it. It's the jokes are dark. It's not the color of my skin. Right, <laughs> guys. <laughs> dark. Yeah. Uh, he looks Asian when he gets on stage. He gets a little darker, just you know, skin wise. Uh, um, they did. I I remember that the I just I. I remember when I opening the show, it's just me, and then I, uh, I was the opener. I came out with like a beating kids joke, and what? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, right, that's just me. Like I just, I would, I, to me, it's like if if you came out with that joke, you really see how the crowd is. <laughs> that is, that right? is a good meter. It's either, it's, <laughs> it's either they are gonna like it. It, it, to me, it's there's no middle ground. They either go for it or they don't like it. Exactly. But if they like it, I knew I have them. Like first joke is about beating kids. They're like, oh yeah, each joke after is darker and darker. Which yeah. also talk about the jokes, not yeah. the skin color of my arm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just they they love it. It just I, San Francisco is pretty good. I love that. That's like the stand-up equivalent of just coming out and saying you're a racist in the beginning of meeting somebody. Yeah, <laughs> like if was... they're cool with it, like then we're then we're good <laughs> yeah, to go. It's like, I, to me, I, I live that way. It's simple. Like if I like a girl, I will just whip my dick out. Yes, All right. Exactly. Yep. There's no friend zone. Like, <laughs> it's either she go for it or she doesn't. If she doesn't go for it, hey, I'm. I respect that. I was just going home by myself. I'm, I got to post and bail for Fung a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put on a red wig. So, that, I don't know. Maybe I will go famous yeah. or something. That's oh, awesome. that's awesome. Uh, what um, who, what have you been doing in your career lately? Like, well, you've been traveling on the road. You've been doing stuff here, working out. I've been working out a lot, like, new stuff uh, just to edit in stand-up. Like, I'm trying to... Get it like a solid 30 minutes. And uh, I, yeah, I just came uh, back. I, I did open for Russell Peters uh, last month. It was it was cool. It was very cool. Shows were good. We did uh, Salt Lake City, Wise Guys. And uh, that, that was my first time uh, in Salt Lake City. I've never been to that city before. And the, those, uh, the people there, they are pretty liberal too. Like I didn't, I didn't, I guess it's for Russell's show. We, I, we, we didn't see a lot of black people through the, in the show. <laughs> Bro, Not a lot of them. Utah. <laughs> right? And uh, audience were pretty super white. And uh, uh, guys with turbans come to see, like, Russell's fans. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it, yeah, like, we're, like, they're, they're liberal. Like, to me, it's like when it make, I had a moment that uh, a couple of Indian guys they after the show they come come to me like say hey we love you you are really good we love your sense of humor and to me it's like I'm Chinese Chinese culture is really close to uh, Indian culture like when you, let's just say when your grandma died you don't joke about it if you joke about it specifically for Chinese people I can't sp speak for Indian people like Chinese people would like no you can't joke about your grandma being dead you, that's not that's disrespectful that's just that's not what we do and I, i'm like you know what i'm chinese this is what i do 
So I don't care about what you guys laugh or not, but that's how I cope with my dead grandma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but to me, if, if people from, I, I just feel like Western culture and just like, compared to Asian culture, it's a little different, but, but if you want to be universal funny, you just got to perform in front of different people. I feel like that's one of the things earlier when we talk about uh, Bill shot his special in the South. And I would love to travel to the South, like a city like Atlanta, uh, Tennessee, just to see how they take my beating kids joke. Yeah, of course. Front. Definitely. <laughs> that, yeah. Bro, you do that joke in Florida and so many people will relate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You know, that's my home turf. We're crazy <laughs> as fuck there. I'm actually certain there's some places where that joke would go over well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, right after the joke, whoever laugh at this joke, you're going to get uh, arrested by the cop right out there because you're laughing at beating kids. <laughs>